Top U.S. scientists say we should stop worrying about renewable energy and start doubling down on nuclear power. But where is all that waste going to go? Anthony here for DNews, and the open letter posted by four researchers on Google Plus says renewable energy is cool, but if we really want to stop climate change issues, we have to invest big in nuclear energy. Of course, that might sound like trading one bad for another. Climate change is a huge problem, but radioactive waste is extremely hazardous to the environment, and while we can contain and store it, there's never really been a way to just be rid of it. Nuclear plants use uranium pellets sealed in metal rods for fuel, and after they get all the usable uranium from the rod, they're left with what's called high-level waste. It's a liquid that really only makes up a tiny fraction of the world's nuclear waste, but 95% of its total radioactivity. So the waste from the rods is usually sealed in these tanks and then encapsulated in concrete and stored deep in the ground in special facilities, though in the beginning we just sort of threw it into the sea, which is no longer considered cool because that is how you get a kaiju. Anyway, all this stuff is sloshing around and is hazardous for anywhere from 10,000 to about a million years, depending on what source you go to. And the issue there is all your steel and concrete is gonna start falling apart before the waste is safe. You can get leakage out of storage and into the soil or groundwater. It also takes up a lot of space. Over the last few decades, a new process has become popular. It's called vitrification. And this is where we mix the waste with sugar and put it into a a heated rotating tube and then turn it into glass. It's still radioactive, but it's way easier to handle and store than liquid waste. And it also takes up a lot less space because it winds up boiling down all the water volume and it doesn't need to be surrounded with concrete when it's buried. The problem is that the process is crazy expensive, but researchers at the University of Sheffield think they know a way to simplify the vitrification process. They've figured out a way to use slag from blast furnaces. It's basically the waste products from refining metal ore. Instead, of sugar, so we would be using waste to get rid of waste. And apparently it works so well in tests that it gets rid of up to 90% of the volume of the waste, meaning we use much less space to store the stuff, so we're not close to running out of room to keep it in. Still, it'd be great to see renewables and superconductors become more efficient alongside advances like this, because if the longer estimates are right and we've got to worry about nuclear waste for a few hundred thousand years, it's hard to imagine not running out of places to store it, no matter how much you crush it down. I don't know, what do you think? Should we be putting more work into nuclear power or into things like wind and solar? If SimCity has taught me anything, it's that this solar thing is going to pay off right before a tornado destroys everyone. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.